Hi everyone. I'm going to give you 11 things that you can do in order to ensure that your agents are set up for success for 2023. I'm Chiyoko Kikino. I am the Vice President of Brand Expansion for Century 21 Canada. I'm also the host of the Real Estate Real Success podcast. All right, let's get started. Here's your C21 checklist to ensure your agent success in 2023. Checklist item number one. Do your research on each agent. You're going to want to look at all of your agents' production numbers uh, for the last one to two to even three years to see if there's various trends. It'll also create a benchmark that you can help them set goals for 2023. Um, you want to do a marketing audit on each agent, so maybe quickly Google the agent's name, look at their various links, follow those links to websites or any online presence that they might have. You'll want to go onto their social media channels and see if they're posting a lot, what type of content they're posting, what social media channels they're even on, but it's really great to do your research before you meet with each agent. Checklist item number two. Identify what resources you have available. You're going to want to identify the resources that you have on hand to help your agents plan for the new year. So for example, do you have a business planning workbook or a worksheet that they can use in order to help plan their business for the new year? Um, maybe it's a webinar that you recently watched. Um, I just watched one on Jared James. He talked about the four things that agents must do for 2023. Maybe that's a value that you can send your agents. But whatever you have available at your fingertips, you're going to want it all in one place. So then when you meet with them, you'll have the resources available to help and guide them if they need it. Checklist item number three, organize business planning sessions. Business planning can be intimidating for a lot of people. So it's best if you're able to teach them how to build their business plan. So now you have the resources. Now you can teach them how to use those resources in order to build a plan for them so they can be successful in 2023. So if you organize some business planning sessions, maybe it's smaller groups, maybe it's a larger groups, maybe it's a hybrid. So you do it live, but you also do it online, whatever works for you, whatever works for your agents. Um, and maybe you can do just one session. It might be two or three sessions in that one business planning segment but maybe you can tape it in order to have it on demand for agents that couldn't be with you uh, live in that session checklist item number four schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings you've done your research you have the resources that you've been able to provide them to give them guidance in this process you've taught them how to create a business plan so hopefully they have a draft business plan for you to review on a one-to-one -one basis. So now you can just spend time with that agent going through their business plan, understanding you know, what their goals are for the future, and what they need to do in order to meet those goals. And then you can really give personalized and customized guidance to that specific agent. Checklist item number five, help agents develop a marketing plan. Now that you are sitting down with them one-on-one, -on -one, you can help brainstorm with them new ways that they can market themselves. So you're going to want to ask them how they plan to build their database. You know, what type of content are they planning to share on social media? How can they provide value to not only their social media followers, but also their sphere of influence? So this is a really great opportunity to put your thinking cap on, your creative cap, and actually brainstorm new ideas that will help build their brand in the new year. Checklist item number six, encourage your agents to incorporate video into their marketing plan. I'm a big believer in video because I think video helps to convey a message in a very engaging way. You know, when people watch video, they can see your smile, they can see how genuine you are, they can see how passionate you are for the, you know, the real estate industry. It really has an opportunity to create a relationship before people even meet in person. So you wanna encourage your agents to get comfortable on video and they can talk about whatever they want, whatever they're excited about, that's what they should talk about. Um, maybe you can create a room in your brokerage that is like a media room that, you know, you have a tripod, you have some lights that they can just come in and use maybe they book it and they can film video in there in a closed space where they feel comfortable filming themselves but it's really important because as Jared James says visibility trumps ability so we have to be visible as real estate agents out there in the marketplace so when someone's looking to buy or sell they think of that agent checklist item number seven make sure their goals are always front and center you know, Brian Buffini says that you have a 42% better chance of achieving a goal if you write it down. 
So you need to brainstorm ways with your agent on how they can keep that goal front and center and visible to them every single day. That will make them more likely to be able to achieve that goal. So maybe it's a CRM that they log into every single day and there's a dashboard, it has their goal and they're able to track their progress on the goal. Or maybe it's just a sheet of paper that's put up in their home office that tells them every day what they're trying to achieve. Checklist item number eight, assist them in building a financial plan. Hopefully you have a worksheet that they can start with um, so they're not starting from scratch, but you're gonna to wanna to encourage them to build a financial plan so they can monitor their expenses on a regular basis. They can monitor their revenue, make sure that of course they're bringing in revenue to offset the expenses, but it will actually help to support the business plan. So you take the business plan, you'll identify all the expenses that you need to incur, what your goals are and what revenue that'll bring in, and then they'll be able to manage their money as best they can for the new year. Checklist item number nine, help them break their goals down into weekly lead measures. If we get too focused on achieving the goal, we get frustrated. So we need to focus on the process that we need to take in order to achieve our goals. So for example, instead of, you know, deciding that, okay, I've got to do, you know, 20 transactions this year. Why don't I decide how many conversations I need to have every week or how many listing or buyer presentations I need to do in order to get me those 20 transactions. Um, if you have a formula that you can use in order to fig that, figure that out, you might want to take some historical information into consideration when you're trying to determine how many conversations and, and presentations you need to do. Um, but if you don't know that and you don't have a formula, you can go over to jaredjamestoday.com forward slash business plan and you can download a digital copy of his business plan that will help you identify what your weekly lead measures should be. Checklist item number 10, hold them accountable. Good people want to be held accountable. So you're going to want to put a process in place that you can ensure that you're following up with your agents on a quarterly basis and going through their business plan, going through, you know, their goals for that quarter order and what their actuals were and then helping to tweak the rest of the business plan depending where they are in achieving their overall goal for the year. Checklist item number 11 and it's our final checklist item. Go through this process with every new agent. Business planning just doesn't take place in December or in January. It can take place throughout the year. So when agents come on board with your brokerage, you're going to want to sit down with them and you're going to want to build a business plan with them so they can be successful with your brokerage. So those are 11 things that you can do in order to help your agents be successful for 2023. Let's review them one more time. Checklist item number one, do your research on each agent. Checklist item number two, identify what resources are available. Checklist number three, organize business planning sessions. Checklist number four, schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings. Checklist item number five, help agents develop a marketing plan. Checklist item number six, encourage agents to incorporate video into their marketing plan. Checklist item number seven, make sure their goals are always front and center. Checklist item number eight, assist them in building a financial plan. Checklist item number nine, help them break down their goals into weekly lead measures. Checklist item number 10, hold them accountable. And checklist item number 11, go through the process with every new agent that comes on board with your brokerage. If you didn't get a chance to write all that down, don't worry. You can email me and I will send you your very own C21 checklist for ensuring your agent success in 2023. My contact information can be found on the century21franchise.ca website. Century 21 is one of the world's largest residential real estate companies in the world with presence in 86 countries. Here in Canada, we are 11,000 plus strong and we're looking to align ourselves with like-minded individuals who share the same vision to what the future of brokerages look like. So if you are interested in any growth opportunities, please feel free to reach out to me or my colleague, Gary Zaleppa. Our contact information can be found on the century21franchise.ca website. Anyways, thank you for taking time to watch this video and good luck in 2023.